The J2000 is a flying car developed by Jetoptera. It's designed to be sleek, compact, and faster than a race car. The J2000 is expected to take off and land vertically and fly at 200 miles per hour. It's designed to have a range of 200 miles, making it suitable for multiple stops for an air taxi service or simply going farther. The J2000 uses a unique fluidic propulsion system that uses hoops as thrusters. The air that flows over the wing-shaped flying car gives the vehicle negative pressure that results in a lift. This lack of blades makes the J2000 lighter. The vehicle's exhaust velocity is less than 300 miles per hour, resulting in a dramatic reduction of noise compared to a turbojet or turbofan, and much less noise than a helicopter. The TX0001 is a concept designed for a flying taxi developed by Alfir Design. This electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL, passenger aircraft is designed for advanced air mobility and represents the company's vision of future air mobility technology. The TX0001 is envisioned as a two-passenger EVTOL flying taxi. If the aircraft was built in the 2000s, it would most likely have a pilot and carry one passenger with their luggage. However, Ophir Design envisions that occupants of future urban aircraft will simply program their itinerary and enjoy the ride in a futuristic metropolis once autonomous flying technology comes of age. The aircraft is powered by batteries and has four protected rotating propellers, each located at the ends of the tandem wings. Bird of Prey Airbus is a conceptual airliner that was unveiled to inspire the next generation of engineers. This hybrid electric, turbopropeller aircraft is designed for regional air transportation and takes its design cues from the efficient mechanics of a bird. It mimics the wing and tail structures of a bird of prey and features individually controlled feathers that provide active flight control. While the bird of prey is not intended to represent an actual aircraft, it's based on realistic ideas and provides an insight into what a future regional aircraft could look like. It includes a blended wing-to-fuselage joint that mirrors the graceful and aerodynamic arch of an eagle or falcon, representing the potential of biomimicry. The Xping X2 is a two-seater flying car developed by the Chinese automaker Xping. It's an all-electric vehicle with a carbon fiber body and eight rotors. The X2 is designed for future low-altitude city flights, especially short-distance journeys such as sightseeing and medical transportation. It does not produce any carbon dioxide emissions during flight, making it a step forward in the pursuit of urban green transportation. The vehicle features a minimalist teardrop-shaped design with an enclosed cockpit for efficient aerodynamic performance. The X2 offers two driving modes, manual and autonomous. The autonomous mode is said to offer passengers a safe and intelligent flying experience with simple start, return, and landing operations at the touch of a button. The company is currently working on the sixth generation version that will bring significant upgrades, including the ability to drive in the air and on roads. The X2 made its first global public flight in Dubai, marking a significant milestone for Xping Aerot and the international achievement of flying cars. The Opener Blackfly, now known as the Pivotal Blackfly, is an American electric-powered VTOL personal air vehicle designed by Canadian engineer Marcus Lang. It was publicly revealed in 2018 after nine years of development and is intended to be supplied complete and ready to fly. The Blackfly is made from carbon fiber reinforced epoxy with all-electric battery-powered propulsion. It has two 13.6 feet, 4.15 meters cantilevered tandem wings on the front and rear of a short fuselage. The forward wing is low and the rear wing high, giving the cockpit good forward visibility. The aircraft is capable of soaring to altitudes of up to 1,000 meters, 3,281 feet, cruising at up to 130 kilometers per hour, 81 miles per hour, and flying for up to 35 minutes on each charge. It offers two driving modes, 
manual and autonomous the autonomous mode offers passengers a safe and intelligent flying experience with simple start return and landing operations at the touch of a button the Zafalto Celeste this is a high-tech space balloon designed by the French company Zafalto Space Balloon the balloon is designed to take passengers on a luxurious trip to the edge of space, offering panoramic views of Earth and the darkness of space beyond. The inaugural flight is expected to launch in late 2024. The interior capsule of the Zafalto balloon, also called Celeste, the capsule is pressurized and features a minimalist design by Parisian architect Joseph Durand. The capsule boasts chic interiors, Michelin-starred meals, and the largest panoramic windows available for such a trip, Zafalto Space Capsule Interior. In contrast, Reach for the Stars is an initiative by Zafalto, a company that aims to revolutionize space tourism. The Acept Hybrid Helicopter Concept is a futuristic helicopter design created by four digital designer students at ISD Valenciennes. The most distinctive feature of the Acept is its hybrid propulsion system. This would combine a traditional combustion engine with electric motors to reduce fuel consumption and noise pollution. Sleek Design The Acept has a sleek, aerodynamic design that departs from the traditional boxy look of helicopters. The ASIP's rotor blades are enclosed within a housing, which would improve safety and reduce noise. Hybrid helicopter concept is an interesting look at how helicopter design might evolve in the future. Whether or not a helicopter exactly like this will ever be built remains to be seen, but it does highlight the potential of hybrid propulsion systems and new design concepts to make helicopters more efficient, quieter, and safer. While not a fully developed concept with engineering specifications, the ASEP offers a glimpse into what future helicopters might look like. The Sturismo Flying Bike, developed by the Japanese startup Airwinds Technologies, is the world's first commercially available flying motorcycle. It operates on a hybrid system combining a 228 horsepower gas powered Kawasaki motorcycle engine with electric motors for auxiliary power and stability. Flight performance It can fly for up to 40 minutes at a cruising speed of 62 miles per hour, 100 kilometers per hour. Weight limit The maximum payload capacity is around 100 kilograms, 220 pounds, which includes the rider and any cargo. Safety features, the Sturismo is equipped with 3D control systems, air route designs, mapping controls, and additional sensors to detect obstacles for a safer flight. While not quite street legal yet and restricted to flying over racetracks in Japan currently, the Sturismo represents a significant step towards making personal flying vehicles a reality. The company's vision is to develop electric and mass-produced hover bikes for everyday use in the future. Jetopterus Fluidic Propulsive System is a unique propulsion technology that has been developed for their aircraft, including the high-power flying car. The system works on a simple yet effective principle to generate thrust for powerful, VTOL-capable aircraft. The system uses a gas generator to produce a pressurized fluid, which is then distributed to specially designed thrusters. This method is considered the most direct way of producing thrust. The technology enhances thrust via massive entrainment of ambient air. The fluidic propulsive system is often compared to a Dyson bladeless fan, as it produces thrust for half the fuel of a small turbojet and is touted as the most silent propulsion system in the skies. This innovative propulsion system contributes significantly to the unique capabilities of Jetoptera's aircraft, including the J2000 flying car. H2 Fly is a German company pioneering hydrogen electric powertrain systems for aircraft with the goal of achieving zero emission aviation. In September 2023, H2 Fly successfully completed the first ever piloted flight of an electric aircraft powered by liquid hydrogen, a significant milestone in sustainable aviation, H2 Fly first flight. Their HY-4 demonstrator aircraft undertook four test flights, 
including one exceeding three hours, showcasing the potential for long-distance travel with hydrogen fuel. H2 Fly Champions the use of liquid hydrogen over gaseous hydrogen for aircraft propulsion. Liquid hydrogen offers a higher energy density, allowing for more compact fuel storage and potentially greater range compared to gaseous hydrogen. In 2021, H2 Fly was acquired by Joby Aviation, a company developing electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL, aircraft. This collaboration could accelerate the development and commercialization of hydrogen-powered electric aircraft for various applications.